All right, boys and girls, today we are going to be nature exploring artists, because sometimes artists explore nature. We're going to pretend we are laying in the grass, and if you're laying in the grass, then the grass looks really big like that. We're going to draw these pointed grass lines, and we're going to underlap and overlap. So watch how I underlap by picking my pencil up just a little bit like that, and then keep drawing just to pick it up and keep drawing. Now, if you can't do that and you need to just go ahead and draw over it, that's fine. But see how you need to erase one of those so that one of them is under the other. So see how I just erase along one like that? So it's under one of my grass blades and over the other one. I'm going to show you again with some more grass. So I just drew right over that and then I'm going to erase inside of one of the other blades so that it looks like it is under the other. This is all about overlap, underlap, overlap, underlap. You want to overlap and underlap your grass blades, blades because blades of grass, they are all mixed up together. Then we're going to draw some cute little bugs, all kinds of cute little bugs that you want to draw. And we're just going to draw some just simple little bugs. Here's a little uh, ladybug. And you're going to draw them crawling around on all of this grass that we have drawn here. I'm just going to draw some more. I'm going to draw a little ant. Right there like that. And I'm going to draw another ant, like it's a little part of a little army of ants. Remember to erase anything that the bug is overlapping. So I'm going to erase that so it doesn't look like my bug is transparent. Because bugs are not transparent. That would be silly. And I've got a little worm here at the bottom you can't quite see. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to trace everything with black marker now or with marker we're not going to actually color in with marker we're just tracing with the different colors of marker so like my, you can see my red ladybug was traced with a red marker i need another bug here i didn't have enough bugs i felt i'm going to draw a butterfly right up there in the sky tracing it with black marker the colors that i'm going to then later color in with crayons also going to trace all of the grass with green and it's going to be the same color marker so the same color marker of green the same color green marker gets traced just the outline like this so all the outline this will help define and really uh, bring out what grass is being underlapped and overlapped all right after you've traced with markers then you're going to start coloring it with crayons and you want to make sure that you have a coloring placemat so that it colors in really well. We have just a piece of fabric in this room, although if you could just have some newspapers or some extra papers uh, just to soften up the surface of the table, that makes the crowns color in really well. As you can see, I'm just coloring in all my bugs, all the different colors that they need to be. And then I'm going to move on to my grass, and the grass is going to be fun. Alright, so I've colored in three blades of grass with one shade of green. But see, there are lots and lots and lots of shades of green in your color box, in your crown box. So I take one shade of green and I color in two or three blades, and then I take another shade of green and I color in two or three blades of grass with a different shade. Because when you look really closely at grass, you can see that they have different shades of green. So after you're done drawing in all the grass, all different colors of green, and there are so many different colors of green, it's really fantastic, then we're going to draw a bug really big like it is the, like you're looking at it with a magnifying glass. That's going to be our final step. All right, so here's the last step. Now I'm going to give you a white piece of paper with a circle around it, and that's going to fit inside the gray piece of paper. And then you're going to draw a bug really big. Fill that whole piece of paper uh, with the bug. 
the bug is going to take up most of the piece of that circle there. But you have to still draw it within the circle. Then you're going to, just like we did with the grass and the other bugs, trace with marker and then color in with crayons. After you're done coloring in the bug with crayons, then you're going to add the background is going to be uh, colored in with green so that it looks like the bug is on a blade of grass. The last step is to glue on the gray circle, which is going to be part of the magnifying glass. Glue it on so it lines up. Trim the white paper very carefully. Just trim it like that. And then glue it on to a blade of grass like that so it looks like it's magnifying. And the handle for the magnifying glass then you are all done.